six strand embroidery floss is a great option for embroidery because it's easy to find, it's easy to work with, and it comes in any color that you can imagine. But you don't usually stitch with all six strands of floss. Usually the pattern will say two strands or three strands or another number. And so to divide the six strands into the two or three can sometimes be difficult. If you try to take the end and just divide three and three and pull it this way, it's quite likely that it will tangle or um, not, or just be difficult to do. And so to remove the strands, the trick is to remove them one at a time. So hold the end in your fingers and then take one strand and just pull that one strand out. And you can see that it is pulling up the rest, but it's not knotting or tangling. And then once that's done, you can just smooth out the rest and then take out the next strand and then the next strand for however many you need. Now this has a couple of advantages. It's good because it makes it easy to divide the strands. But the other thing is this is what is called stripping the embroidery floss. And now when you take your two strands or three strands, you can lay them together and they're gonna lay together beside each other and they're not going to be tangled together. So this will give you a better um, finished project. Uh, even if you're gonna stitch with six strands of floss, I still recommend take separating them one at a time and then laying all six together and this will give you uh, smoother stitches, especially if you're doing something like satin stitch where you want your strands to lay side by side and not be uh, twisted together. So stripping your embroidery floss will help you get a better finished embroidery project. For more embroidery tips and inspiration, be sure to follow Evita Studio.